like mental health help is on the way to students now in Killingly. The Board of Education has approved a plan to bring those services to the intermediate and high schools, but some parents are skeptical skeptical that it will actually happen. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash explains why. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. That was the Killingly Board of Education Wednesday night, unanimously giving the green light for mental health services in school. Quite a different outcome compared to about a year ago when a similar plan was shot down. One has to wonder, did they have a change of heart or is the timing because the inquiry was pending, a date was imminent? Christine Rosati Randall is one of many Killingly parents fighting to get mental health help to their kids. They've led the charge on getting an investigation at the state level into the Killingly Board of Ed. The students in this generation don't have the stigma around mental health that we had because they all understand the challenges they're facing. The new plan approved is in partnership with Community Health Resources, or CHR. Starting in August, students from both Killingly High and Killingly Intermediate will have access to a counselor from CHR. Students do need the okay from their parents to get services. It won't cost the school district anything. CHR will bill the parents' insurance. Still, Killingly parents aren't too sure this will actually happen. In a letter to the State Commissioner of Education, the parents write, We cannot be optimistic that the Killingly School Board will actually follow through on bringing CHR into Killingly schools at the beginning of the 2023-24 school year. Our students are deprived of mental health resources. Julia Revelis left Killingly High her sophomore year. She says she was depressed, anxious, and wasn't getting any help from her school. Now she's hoping students like her have more help. We need educated individuals who are willing to help our students. We need staffing. We need their, we need their resources and their time. And they need that now, and there's nothing there. Over the next few months during this summer, the Board of Education says CHR will reach out to the families of children who may need their help. That way, in the fall, when school is back in session, the ball will already be rolling. In Killingly, Luke Hydash, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.